Hello, and thank you for stopping by. Today, our soon-to-be mobile coop has arrived. I'm taking this travel trailer, and I'm going to convert it to a chicken coop. Let me take you on a quick tour to show you what we have and what has to be done to get started. This is what we're looking at. It's in relatively good shape. The side is all intact. The windows are all intact. Back here is all secured. There aren't any openings in the back where our predators could get in. This side is another matter. The fender is missing, but that doesn't mean anything because this side's going to go up against the back fencing. This would have been great to have the chickens come in and out of, but I have to close it up because it's going against the back. And this opened up right in here during transport. Out here, I want to clean this up. And at some point, I like to put the nesting boxes right out here in the front, cut it right into this trailer. This side is open, the door is missing, so I have to make a door for this or close it off. I might leave this to have the chickens come in and out, but it's a little narrow. Wide enough, but a little narrow. We have all the screens, which is great. And this is what it looks like inside. The people who had this prior were going to make a little uh, mobile store out of this. But with the pandemic and everything, this sat for over a year and they decided not to go through with it. So they left me the extra lumber in here, and they did a lot of the clean out. They did have a, a leak in the roof. This roof buckled in, good, and they put the support in here to hold it up. Once they put the support up, it wasn't leaking any longer. Now I stayed out here during the rainstorm, and there wasn't any water coming through, which I was quite surprised. Now these studs over here rotted out, and I have to build this up. This paneling back here I'm going to leave, and then I have to cover this wall. The fiberglass I'll leave in there, and I have to cover the ceiling. But all in all, when you get these, they're usually in really bad shape. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the roofs going across the back or long wise. So I have the door that works. I have openings, plenty of windows for ventilation in the summertime. I will put wire up in these windows when I go to open them because I can see a raccoon or something just tearing right through. And here's where I want to put the roosting boxes, right in here. Cut this out and go right through. This all has to be built up in here. This all has to be cleaned up. I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the ceiling. But this is what we're looking at. And I like to put something on this wall that's easy to clean. For those of you who have chickens, you know what you're dealing with once they're in here. I have the skylight that opens, these windows that open. And again, I'm really happy with this, with all the ventilation that I have in here and all the glass being intact. This side over here isn't in bad shape. And the, I could use this side as a template to build up the other side. I put wire in these windows so when I open them up, I have the screen, but like I said, the screens could be ripped through. But the screens are nice to keep the flies out anyway when you have it. May petition this off at some point to keep the younger chickens from the older chickens if I increase the flock again. I just increased them by 24. And I have to figure out how I'm going to handle this wall and the rebuilders. This floor down in the corner here is rotted out. Once I clean this up, I'll be back to show you where we're at. This is what we got done so far. Johnny was a big help the other day. We cleaned up the floor swept up the debris that was in here we picked up the uh, wood that was in here the uh, these are the uh, two by ones that they had in here that they were going to do work that they never finished i just put them up on the windowsill just to get them off the floor all the screens are over here so we don't break them this foam 
this must have came out of the uh, beds and the mattresses that were here but I was looking for foam like this to do uh, repairs on lawn tractor seats so I have my foam for the seats I'm not going to be using it in here I have this that they gave for the aluminum fiber roof coating so that one gallon for the small trailer I think it's enough and now the work begins what I'm going to do first is to go through these wires I'm going to keep some of the wires in here you can see how they run through some was probably for the fan for the kitchen for the lights and so on but I'm going to keep one strand that I could connect to so if I want to put a heat lamp in here or if I uh, want to run an extension cord out and maybe uh, have a light in here when I walk in at night check the eggs and the way I'm gonna the way I'm gonna go about checking that I'm gonna use a multimeter and, and check for a connection between the lines whatever's not connected I'm just pulling out something like this it's not in my way I just leave it in here or maybe that's one of maybe that's one of the wires I'm going to use I don't know once I clean these wires up in here I'm going to come this is a little dangerous I'm going to come in here with the uh, grinder I'm going to cut these screws down this is where this this is uh, they must have some cabinets or something over here you don't see these from the outside these are screwed in and the outside sheeting's on top of it so I'm going to cut these off and what I have to do first this flooring over here the whole floor is solid with exception of this corner this whole corner over here is gone so I'm probably going to come back an extra 12 inches cut it out put another piece in then I believe the next step would be to put the board going across here so that piece could connect to this piece and under the floor I have to have this support which isn't on the other side so it can connect the wall the outside wall to it so that has to be put in over here on this side this has to be put in then I could connect this wall in once I connect it in I have to frame it out over here the way it is on I have the other side to use as a template so that's good and these pieces here I'm not going to try and take them out what I'm going to do is just put another piece against it and butt up against it because to pull this out there's nails on the outside it's all kinds of holes so I'm just going to butt up against it come down and on the bottom tack in this way I'm going to do that over here and where it's and over here same situation they have nails coming in from the outside coming in here so not to have this mess this is going to be covered up I'm, go I'm going to butt a stud up against here to go to the top and I have to run the piece along the top you can see where it is rotted out so where do I start where's the starting point this piece here has to be there otherwise this has nothing to connect to and with this piece up here again see this one this is where that pushing was and they told me it leaked over here when it was down so it looks like a lot but it really isn't bad compared to the other one I have that's about it for now so first thing getting rid of the wires I don't need I'm gonna pull this up to my garage so I don't have to go back and forth with tools and I can run an extension cord out all the tools I have are corded tools I don't have any cordless saws or anything so I'll pull that up and I have to find something to cover the, the top over here with I'm not sure what I want to put up here maybe I could get a cheap paneling I was thinking a Marlite that's a little heavy I'm gonna to go to Lowell's Home Depot and see what they have what I could cover this up with and what I'm gonna cover this wall for now the back wall where the paneling's together I'm just leaving that there I know at some point I'm gonna to have to clean it because uh, well if you have chickens you know what that'll be like and I want to make it easy to clean I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the roofs going across the back or if I should run them long ways 
what I wanted to do was cut this out on the bottom and have the nesting boxes outside chickens would come in lay the eggs and I could pull the eggs from outside but for now just to get this going because I have to get it going those chickens are going to be laying eggs soon there's 21 babies oven babies anymore and I'm just going to put the the nesting boxes in here for now cutting this out isn't any problem it's just thin metal very very thin metal and it gives me more time to figure out what I want to do so that's it for now once I get these wires out and start framing it up I'll show you the progress as we go.